Right guys, so we're moving on and we're going to be bringing you into some of Destiny's gameplay that I've been through so far. Um, what I've done is I've edited a few clips down just to show you some of the action areas and stuff. We're going to start with some of the basics and this is one of the first bosses you get. And you just see me finish him off here with the pistol and there you go, he's down. And we're going to end up reviving Lemon Towel over the other side. So these are three of our clan members as well. Um, what I'm going to be talking you through here guys, there's quite a lot of game clips for you and it does get a lot more exciting than this. Uh, we're just going to show you a random chest location just down in the eye boss and it's just over here. You see me following Higher Dream and just here right in the corner so there's one of your locations for you guys and you get the seeker out of that one as well um, so what we're gonna do from here is we're basically gonna fight yeah buddy okay so like I said guys it is a recruitment video and it's just one of those things we're just gonna show you the end of this clip right now so just take out this little random here and you can see the eyes pretty much on low health. I didn't want to incorporate the full videos into this. The reason being is they do take a while to take the bosses down. If you play Destiny already, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so we're just going to show you the end parts to begin with. And then we're going to show you a bit more of the actual footage on different bosses as well. Where it becomes a little bit more entertaining for you guys. So don't forget, if you do like the videos as well, don't forget to drop a subscribe, it does help me out as well. And you can see here, this was one of my fun moments in the game, where you actually got to pick up the sword and then you got to sort of work it. This was my first attempt at it, and as you can see me take out that pack, but I take a big hit from him. Now, the advice that I will give you when you are doing the Swarm Princess is don't just attack the guy with the sword because he will kill you, it's pretty easy for him to damage you and um, you do need to move around a little bit and stuff like that you can see me using my jumps to the effect as well and you can see quite a few times I go on pretty low health but I'm not worried about it unless I go really low so for example I actually cock up there and I miss but I'm just going to turn around, have a look where he is, I've got my supercharge on now the supercharge funnily enough it does actually work with that um, but you don't throw a bolt or anything, it's just that the sword looks like it's a little bit more powerful. In other words, you'll get a bigger hit, so if you can get a clean hit when you're on the supercharger, do it by all means. And next of all, we are going to move on, because this is mission complete on this part. Um, we're basically going to show you my little ghost there, that's my legendary ghost by the way guys. And um, we are moving into the next part. Um, we've got a big ogre, now if you watch his head, the main tipping points from this one is that laser beam, you just, you, it's so easy to avoid it guys, but if you make the mistake of going up to him like this, like I do, obviously it's not something that you want to do, and you can see that beam getting a clean hit on me there, so what you, are, what you can do while you're doing the bosses is you can find cover and you can actually regen your health, so that will allow you to take down the bosses like so, for example. Okay, a little bit of tea bang in there for you guys, thought that would make you laugh, uh, probably not. Um, we're moving into this one, now this one was a little bit harder, now basically what I'm doing is I'm actually using the ring. Now obviously the Curse Thralls, what they do is they actually explode, so if you do get any enemies near it and you've got it on low health, you can just shoot that and it will take out a few of the lesser priority uh, minions. So first of all I've got a wizard to my right hand side, now first of all what I want is I want this wizard to go down fast because what I'm going to end up getting soon is I'm going to end up getting the knight, uh, basically as you know they do come in waves and what I am doing at the moment is I'm actually playing solo because a lot of people are full partied up at the minute so I'm one of the lone rangers and it's just one of those things until we can do the six man PvE race together and we shall basically be owning together and hopefully you'll be part of that as well guys so if you do enjoy Destiny, you enjoy the game, you enjoy a laugh come and join us, what have you got to lose? Um, it's just one of those things, we're all good lads, we're all have a laugh, we'll never make fun of anybody for anything whatsoever, um, obviously we'll have a bit of banter, and if you can't take a joke, you can't take a joke, it's not the place for you to be, I can guarantee you that guys. 
Right, so we are moving on and we've got these curse thralls just moving at us. They've got very little health and you can see that thing over there. I'm not too worried about them, but we're going to take them out anyway. And... Eventually, what we're going to get to is we're actually going to get to the knight as well. Now, the knight is the tricky part on this particular part, which I did find a little bit of trouble with to begin with, because I wasn't sure where the hell I could run away from them, because they were effectively, uh, like uh, the term on Titanfall, they were actually flanking me from both sides, so in other words, they ended up with three knights on each side, and you're going to see exactly what I mean as soon as we get to that part within this mission. You see the chosen thralls just coming towards us now. All these things on the floor, it's all your ammo packs and stuff like that. So you do want to regularly run over them just so you can replenish that ammo. Obviously, purples, your heavy ammo and stuff. White, your normal ammo for your assault rifles, and green is for things like. I think it's your sniper rifles. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong on that part, guys, so do forgive me. You can see me getting boxed in by these two knights, so I'm actually using my jumps just to take out those two. And I believe that is the mission. That's going to be over very shortly. As soon as I take out these other two knights, I'm going to use the grenade there. Um, the class that I'm actually playing is a warlock, so it will work differently if you're playing the hunter or the titan. You may find it a bit easier as those classes. The warlock, as you know, isn't very protected in defense, for example. Um, it depends on your gear as well at the same time, so if you're not getting good gear you're going to struggle a bit more than I am doing. Um, you can see I've got quite good gear at the minute and I am actually struggling here. I'm just trying to be careful about where I go because I don't want to die, I'm not used to dying, so it's one of those. When the Chosen Knights go into those shields they're immune to any form of damage until they come back out of them. They're only in them for a few seconds so if you've got a supercharger, get it ready. Right, so we're just going to take out the last of the Acolyte there. And that is the mission complete. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up moving on into the next clip in a second for you guys. Don't worry, I don't think the whole countdown timer are left on or stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you pretty much enjoy these clips so far. Don't worry about me Titanfall YouTubing. I'm still going to be bringing you Titanfall. I'm going to be bringing you all sorts for you guys. I'm basically going to be expanding my range. Um, but like I said, this particular video is a recruitment one. What you need to do is you need to add the gamer tags in the description, guys. So, yeah, add those gamer tags, send them a message. And you can see me stats there, for example. Send them a message. And all you need to say is, hi, I wish to join your clan. How do I apply? Someone will happily explain it for you. I will leave the link in the description. You may find it a little bit difficult. Therefore, that's what we're here for you. So we're moving into the next part. And basically, we've got Sardok. Uh, with Sardok, is a very slow moving enemy as you can see, he fires one bolt off but if he does get a clean hit on you, he can one shot you and I did learn that on this one. Now the awkward thing about this right here is when that wizard comes at the same time, that's going to double up the damage on you so I'm going to throw that down straight away. Just going to be smart about it. You can see Sardox starting to attack me, so I need to get over the other side. Despite the wizard being there, I'm just going to jump over, take out a few minions. I'm going to slide over here, just get as far as I can. Now, you're going to see my health go down very shortly as well. See the minions coming towards me. That wizard, I do not want left up. I'm actually using a hand cannon here, so hand cannons are good. The impact is amazing on the hand cannon so they will do good damage for you the only thing that i found with them is they are very slow like when you're reloading you do have perks that will speed up handgun reloads and um, that comes with your actual armor itself so you can see me just coming over here to regen my health okay once i've regen my health i'm just going to plant those shots on i'm actually ignoring the wizard um, if you try and take the wizard out, you're obviously getting a lot of damage for, uh, with you. If you've got better gear than me, then obviously you will power through this, no problem whatsoever. 
but we're just showing you anyway for the fun of it guys and yeah just bringing you some of the Destiny footage obviously I'll be bringing out a lot more footage it's a bit more difficult to edit because you're in the game for like half an hour and stuff like that and then you've got to go through it all but we should be coming into the final part for you now guys so don't forget to leave a subscribe if you are new to watching my videos and you do like the content um, obviously I'm just gonna you just basically shoot this big globe and that will end the mission for you because it just reads it like it's destroyed what we're going to show you at the end of the video is actually, well, my armor that I've got up to level 11. What's going to be included in that is showing you the legendary items that I do have at the minute, at the minute, sorry, at the minute, I don't know what I was talking about there. So I've got the Frontier Shell, as you can see there, I actually got two of those unfortunately, I've got the Inner Circle, and I've got the Valkyrie 05X ship legendary. Right guys, peace out.